Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a really fun problem from the 1995 Mathematical Olympiad in Argentina. Is it possible to write the 11 whole numbers from 1985 to 1995 in some order so that the 44 digit number you get is prime? Why or why not? Provide a proof of your answer. I thank Leon from Argentina for suggesting this problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So before I get to the solution, I'll admit, there are many, many puzzles that I'm not able to solve by myself. This includes Amazon's hanging cable problem, the hardest easy geometry problem, and many, many more. But this problem I actually figured out in my head and I got the insight in just one minute. So before I get to the solution, I want to tell a supposed story about Picasso. One day in the park, a woman offered to pay Picasso for a portrait. He quickly drew a sketch and she replied, wow, you captured my essence in just a few strokes. How much do I owe you? Picasso said, it cost $10,000. Stunned, the woman said, how can it be so much? You only took one minute. Picasso then replied, no, madame, it took me my entire life. So bringing this back to mind your decisions, people often ask me, how long does it take you to make a video? My answer is the time for an individual video only measures the marginal effort. Each video has actually taken me a lifetime to make. The lesson is that solving problems is like an art form. You get better with lifelong practice. Some habits that improve my problem solving skills are practicing my times table as a child reading every math book in my library for fun during summer breaks, and writing the best mental math tricks. It was in this book that I reinforced the divisibility by 11 rule, which was the key principle to solving this problem. So here's the solution. The number can never be prime. It will always be divisible by 11. To explain why this is true, let's review the divisibility by 11 rule. This states that if the alternating sum of digits from left to right is divisible by 11, then the number is divisible by 11. The procedure is to take the first digit, then subtract the second, then add the third, then subtract the fourth, and so on. In other words, you need to add up the digits in the odd spots and then subtract the digits in the even spots. So let's go over a few quick examples. 77 will be seven minus seven, which is zero. 0 is divisible by 11, so 77 is 2. Consider 243. The alternating sum is 2 minus 4 plus 3, which is equal to 1. Since 1 is not divisible by 11, 243 is not divisible by 11. What about a more complicated number, like 91,905? We first calculate the alternating sum, which is 22, and then we conclude that 22 is divisible by 11, which means 91,905 is also divisible by 11. So how can we use this principle for our current problem? Well, first, let's write the 11 numbers in descending order. We need to calculate the alternating sum of this number. We'll do that by first calculating the sum of all the black digits, which is the digits in the odd positions. I'll write it out in long form, but this simplifies to be the following. And this is an easy calculation, and it's equal to 105. Now, let's calculate the sum of the blue digits, the digits in the even positions. I'll write it out in long form, and then we'll do a few calculations, and we'll simplify it, and it will equal 149. So the alternating sum will be the sum of the black digits minus the sum of the blue digits, and this will be equal to negative 44. 
Since negative 44 is divisible by 11, the entire number is. In fact, the alternating sum will be equal to negative 44. It will be invariant no matter how we arrange the 11 whole numbers from 1985 to 1995. So we've just shown that this particular number is divisible by 11, but I'm going to claim it'll be true no matter how we arrange these 11 numbers. The reason is that the black digits will always be in odd positions and the blue digits will always be in the even positions. So let's say we rearrange the numbers like this. Well, the alternating sum is still going to be the same because the black digits are always in the odd positions and the blue digits are always in the even positions. Here's a little bit more complicated over rearrangement. We're still going to have the same alternating sum of negative 44. It'll be true no matter how we arrange these 11 numbers. Because each number has four digits, no matter how we rearrange them, we're always going to have the black digits in odd positions and the blue digits in even positions. Therefore, the alternating sum will always be negative 44 and therefore the resulting number will always be divisible by 11. So now you know the method to solve this problem, and the next time you see a similar problem, you might just be able to solve it instantly in your head. But should someone try to diminish your mental feat, remind them you weren't born with this ability. It actually took you a lifetime of learning to hone your problem solving skills. Thanks for watching. These math videos, which are available for free on YouTube, build confidence for students and inspire mathematical discovery for viewers around the world. They have over 100 million views and the channel has over 1 million subscribers. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos and email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my merchandise and my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.